Hello, welcome to Algorithms. Uh, my name is Saurabh and today we are going to discuss about security best practices in Amazon uh, or AWS API Gateway. Our goal is to make sure that uh, our viewers understand different options available to them uh, from different vendors and how does it look like in reality. So uh, that's the reason uh, we are uh, covering Azure, we are covering AWS which are widely used in different markets and uh, and we are uh, discussing their uh, products as well and how those products are implemented how the architecture looks like because once you see the architecture then it becomes easy for the customers to implement it because they have a point of departure uh, in terms of where to start and in terms of uh, how part that how to do it we have included uh, workflows as well uh, from the execution perspective we are letting you what are the different options in terms of uh, features as well so let's get started okay so these are the uh, five different best practices uh, which are uh, uh, which are available from the uh, AWS API gateway perspective but when it comes to securing your API gateways uh, what we are saying this is at least uh, these are some of them uh, for your organization uh, you might be using uh, something else as well uh, and that you can uh, uh, comment in the comment box just to make sure that uh, others who are uh, viewing these presentations uh, learn uh, about different options as well because uh, in the energy sector in the finance sector uh, as well as uh, in the education sector uh, similarly in the healthcare sector there are different regulations and sometimes you have to follow those regulations so there will be a difference in terms of what is best practice for your organization okay so let's get started implementing uh, least uh, privilege access so this can be done or achieved using uh, IAM uh, identity access uh, identity access and management policies uh, to implement uh, least privilege access for creating reading updating or deleting API gateway APIs now you need to make sure that uh, you understand your uh, identity uh, provider uh, vendor plus product very well and what are the features available in order to make sure that uh, how you are integrating your identities with the rest of your organization and in this case especially with the api okay so you have to understand about uh, controlling and managing access to uh, rest apis in api gateway how do you control and manage a websocket api in api gateway and then uh, you need to have a good understanding of uh, http apis uh, with the uh, uh, with the JSON uh, web token authorizers as well. Now the second is uh, implementing logging. So you can use uh, uh, CloudWatch logs uh, to implement logging and uh, you need to make sure that you, uh, you, you understand how you configure logging uh, for a WebSocket API, uh, for a HTTP API and uh, so on and so forth and those configurations uh, are generally provided by the vendors nowadays uh, but uh, yeah you can uh, you can talk to your vendor okay what is the configuration if i implement logging or you can do a simple google search you'll find out if there are certain exceptions then you need to work out with the vendor as well uh, implementing amazon cloudwatch alarms so cloudwatch alarms uh, are implemented uh, uh, for uh, for metrics uh, for, uh, for 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 to, to watch your metrics over a period of uh, time that you specify so if the metric exceeds a given threshold a notification is sent to uh, to an amazon simple notification service topic or aws auto scaling policy so cloud watch alarms do not invoke actions when a metric is in a particular state rather the state must have changed uh, and been maintained for a specific number of periods so this is also one of a good tool in terms of uh, uh, monitoring your metrics uh, enabling AWS CloudTrail so those who are 
uh, using AWS product, they know that it provides a, a record of actions taken by a user. Uh, simple, it is just a trail of activities that users are doing uh, and it is by user role or an AWS service in API Gateway. So using this information collected by CloudTrail, you can determine the request that was made to API Gateway, the IP address from which the request was made, who made the request, uh, when it was made, uh, additional details, right? Enable AWS Config. So AWS Config provides a detailed view of configuration of AWS resources in your account. So you can see how resources are related, get a history of configuration changes and how relationships and configurations change over time. You can use AWS config to define rules that evaluate uh, resource configuration for data compliance as well. Uh, I guess, yeah. So, and AWS config also represent the ideal configuration settings uh, for your API gateway resources. So in case a resource violates a rule and is flagged as non-compliant, AWS config can alert you using a simple uh, AWS uh, SNS uh, topic. So this is really uh, useful, especially how you are managing uh, the change or configuration management perspective. So these are the five different uh, best practices and how you implement uh, using the AWS tools. Uh, uh, I guess uh, this is it uh, from my side. Uh, in the next presentation, we will discuss about uh, uh, some other areas in security, uh, which are kind of uh, contemporary in nature and different organizations are kind of uh, uh, lost. Some have achieved uh, uh, results. Some are tr on the journey of uh, zero trust architecture. And that is one of the primary reasons we are trying to touch point uh, different topics, whether it is identity, API, network security, uh, to make sure that uh, you know, those who are new, they are learning and they are getting good jobs and uh, better remunerations. And those who are uh, those who are already practicing in the field of security, they are getting uh, exposure to different options available in, uh, in, in, in the market when it comes to cloud, whether Azure or AWS. I guess this is it. Thank you very much. Have a great day.